Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, April 25th. I'm Rhonda Burgundy, and here's what's happening in your world today. Coca-Cola is the most widely distributed product in the world. And did you know McDonald's started off selling hot dogs, not hamburgers? I had no idea, Rhonda, but you forgot to mention, Neely was recently ranked number 18th in the world in supply chain. And by the way, I'm Bree Tamlin. Well, thank you for the reminder, Bree. Speaking of supply chain, my great friend Mr. Hall has agreed to tell us a little bit about his supply chain experience. Wonderful. What exactly does this Mr. Hall man do? Well, he's actually here to tell us about it. Uh, well, technically I'm an area manager for a company called Taylor Brands. Uh, I pretty much control logistical inventory um, through a region called CEND in the state of Texas. Uh, basically, I work with major fashion designers and make sure I can put their certain products in certain stores, what I can sell it for, and how I'm going to get it from point A to point B. Thanks, but I think we might need to know a little bit more. Mr. Hall, how exactly does your job fit into the supply chain? How it fits in the supply chain? Uh, basically, with becoming from an actual designer to each store, I'm basically fulfilling price purchases for each area, uh, trying to get the best, excuse me, the best price point for everything. Uh, and really trying to overall uh, manage that relationship between us and the designers personally. Uh, we do have people in our marketing teams that actually work more hands-on with them, but once certain contracts are signed, uh, we call those a GPO. Uh, I actually come into play there and I'm like, okay, we'll take this product, I want it in this store or in this store, I want to have it sent to this region where I think it'll fit in better with certain, um, uh, certain clientele. So Rhonda, your friend works for Taylor Brands. What exactly do Taylor Brands do? Well, Taylor Brands works with companies such as Men's Warehouse and Joseph A. Bank. Speaking of, I believe Chan and Brian are there now. Thanks, Rhonda and Bree. We're here at one of Taylor Brands retail locations, Joseph A. Bank. Now, there is caution tape, but that's not the story we're here to report. Checking out some of their merchandise, and supposedly this is the best polo you'll ever wear. Yeah, and this polo came here all the way from India, over 8,000 miles away. I wonder how it got here. The majority of tailored brands apparel production is outsourced to third party manufacturers. All retail apparel merchandise for their various stores is received into a central warehouse located in Houston, Texas. Tailored brands implements omni-channel networking, which uses a central stock pool and numerous retail order fulfillment channels. This seamless experience provides supply chain visibility and manages the organization of multiple channels. Thank you so much for joining us. Now back to Rhonda and Bree in the studio. Thanks Brian Fontana and Chan Kine. Back to Mr. Hall. How exactly do you view the supply chain and what do you think the importance of it is? My view of supply chain, uh, I personally love it. I mean, I. I've been doing it for part of my third year now. I uh, originally started with Amazon. Um, that was an interesting experience to say the least. Uh, probably working about 80 hours. Uh, I was an area manager in Hazlitt, Texas for their outbound department at a warehouse called FTW 3 and 4. Uh, with the importance of supply chain overall, uh, it really just comes down to cost efficiency. I mean, you know, you have companies that say like FedEx, UPS, that are going to ship one product to another product for a set price point. Um, overall, though, you know, prime example, we were with UPS for 15 years, uh, and this year we actually just completely changed and went over to FedEx just because, as them being our two primary shipping hubs, that they wanted to bump up the price on us, and we said no. And we spent about six months in the negotiation with FedEx to really find out hey, I'm gonna to need to use your trucks to send my products to point A to point B, and we're gonna find out the right price to do this for. Um, so that was a lot of the work. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Now, how exactly did you get into the supply chain industry? And how does your position fit into this organization? Um, how I got in the supply chain, to be honest, um, I kind of fell into it. I was studying industrial distribution uh, and kind of saw the minor supply chain. And it was a growing major back, in the, back when I was in school, which honestly wasn't too long ago. 
Um, so I kind of kind of fell in love with the area for it. Um, I've, now I'm trying to pursue a master's in logistical special um, at Arizona State University. So we'll see how that goes. And how my position fits into the organization. Uh, overall, it's really just about product placement. I'm just here to kind of make sure the flow goes pretty well. And all inventory in every store is pretty up to date uh, from our hubs, primarily in the Dallas area and in the Houston area. Uh, even though we are based out of Fremont, California, uh, it's, it's nice to have new warehouses being built so we can actually control our truck routes and everything from that point on. So, I mean, I really hope I uh, answered these questions to the fullest here for you. And, uh... Wow, that was definitely informative. Thank you so much for setting that up, Rhonda. Of course. I know I learned a lot about a new company's supply chain. This has been Channel 4 News. Stay classy, Fort Worth. Can I get a go frogs? <laughs>